<laughs> What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hello, friends. Another mail day. Uh huh. This is outstanding. Yes, it is. Uh, so, uh, settle in, because this is a long one, because, well, we have the best community on YouTube, and, well, we, we've been holding stuff, and it's going to be a deep, deep one, right? So, uh, we're going to start. Uh, Chuck had himself a little mail day, too, with some some vintage sumo cards, so we're going to cut to that now. Thanks, Ed, for that glowing introduction. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Chuck's got a mail day. Chuck has a mail day. As you can see, it's sumo-themed, but uh, yeah. figured I'd just do it real quick here. Uh, start off, I, this was a, a trade that I did with one of the members in the uh, Sumo Card Facebook group. I left a stamp on there. I thought that was pretty cool from uh, based out of the UK. So yeah. worldwide when it comes to trading. Yeah, and Chuck's the kind of pack rep that will keep that envelope for 40 years. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <laughs> the stamp was cool. Because <laughs> it, you're exactly right. Oh, the card is. The card, this top here is open. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, hold on. I am ill-prepared. Oh, as usual. <laughs> or for the first time. Or for the first time. Oh, it's got a nice knife. I do like that. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's taped down this side, too. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hey, Chuck. Hope these cards reach you okay. Thanks for the trade. Cheers, Darren. Yes, Darren, they did. <clears throat> it was a trade for uh, four... Sumo cards that I got here for the 2022 set. So now I have two complete sets of BBM 2022 Series 1. And those ones come from all the way across the pond. That's right. And he included a little something here. This is BBM Sports Trading Cards. Uh -huh. Oh. Does that say 2019? Oh, look at that. What do you got there? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. You need to be able to read Japanese, Chuck, if you're going to be collecting this. Yeah, I know. Kiyofumi Nagi. Nagi? Looks like maybe tennis? Something along those lines? Mm -hmm. Baseball? Oh, water polo. There you go. Baseball? And tennis. Yeah. You were probably right on there with the tennis, huh? Very cool. Well, I appreciate that, Darren. Thank you very much. Yeah. Throw these to the side again. That was a nice trade. <clears throat> now, this one is from Ryan, uh, Sumo Manko Man, who uh, yeah. I talked about his book in the last Sumo video I did. It has arrived. Oh, I can't oh. get it in there. Yeah. Sumo Manko Card Checklist, 5th edition. I mean, look at the size of this thing, dude. Look at that. Chuck knows people in high places writing books and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. The check the the, the the checklist. I mean, it's it's hard enough time, you know, finding and collecting these uh old sumo menko and bromides, but to actually know what you're looking at. Anyways, it's amazing. Highly recommend checking it out. Uh last I heard too, he was sending a, a copy uh, that uh, upon request to uh PSA Japan. To help them with their uh, identifying and authenticating old sumo cards. Oh, very cool. So, uh, you know, we, we see we've been kind of going back and forth a little bit. And this he sent. Oh, my. Let me see here. Come on. I see bubble wrap. What are you doing, Chuck? I'm seeing if there's... Why are you always taking it off the camera when I want to see? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here's that note. Chuck, back at you. Some stuff, some some fun stuff to kick off your vintage collection a little bit more. Enjoy, Ryan. Well, I appreciate oh. it, man. Let's see what it's taking here. Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Whole stack. Oh. See, now I have to go back to his book, though, and see wh when these are from. Yeah. Oh, they don't have a date or anything on them? No, no, they're very... It, it, it's hard. It's it's hard work. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh, some of the, oh, these are early, early. Oh, what are these? What's that die cut? Die cut Chunky Boy card. You like that? That's the original <laughs> uh, Menko. That's pretty cool. Yeah. These, these may be like 30s or 40s. Oh, wow. Very cool. And again, I can't really read the Japanese, but I will get through them with a translator and uh, figure out who these guys are and use the book and what set they're from and how old they are. Oh, yeah. Chuck's got a, a whole week of, of studying to do now. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, and here's some of the, the bromides. Uh, sumo Mako Man, he did a nice video explaining all the different types of sumo cards, and, you know, vintage cards, like how they're printed. And so you can see that's kind of got some... I don't know if that's a gloss or. Yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll put the link to his channel in the in the video description below in case you you want to learn some more about sumo. This is the guy to learn from. Absolutely, uh, no doubt, hands down. Okay, I think I, I I remember flipping through the book and looking at some of these old ones. These are five column. I mean, they're kind of just designated as black and white five column because you see there's five columns of information on the front. Mm -hmm. Oh man, these are way too cool. Oh, and a Trump deck. Maybe, oh, what is that? Maybe two. Is it? Yes, it is. One, is one of them Saddam Hussein? <laughs> oh, From, different, kind, different kind of playing cards. Different kind of playing cards. Um, there was kind of a quote-unquote dead area of sumo cards where they stopped making Menko and Bromo pictures, Bromide pictures like those. And there really wasn't sumo collecting cards. But what they did from like the, I want to say mid-70s through the late 80s, was every year they put out a playing card set with the with oh. the sumo wrestlers on them, and that was your that was your trading card for the year. No, oh, very cool. very cool. Figure out what years those are from. Oh man, oh this one came with the little the package sleeve. Oh yeah, look at you getting making sets. I'm telling you, I mean it's just there. there's something about just the artwork too, and the and these in these old vintage sumo cards. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, look at these itty bitties in the tobacco sleeves. Oh. Get out of town. Same as those other ones, huh? Uh, no, I believe these are older. Older than the 30s. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, man. I, I recognize these from looking in the book. I look, and look how small they are, too. You can see how small they are. Yeah. That's amazing that it made it that long. You know what I mean? Being that fragile. Yeah, I, 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 I believe these are like early, like 1900s. Like, oh, wow. like 1900 something through, you know, 10 or 12. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. These are outrageous. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, Ryan, th th this was too kind, brother. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, absolutely amazing. What's in here? Oh, oh, that's right. He, like, I, I think I mentioned before, he runs a, a fantasy sumo group, a fantasy sumo game. What are these? Uh, anyway, he runs a fantasy sumo game uh, er every sumo tournament, and makes cards after the quote unquote random draft. And he, he gets these printed for your fantasy uh, uh, players for this tournament. So oh, wow. it looks like I got Ichinojo, Teretsuyushi, and Daeshoho. Look at that. But yeah, he prints these out and sends them out to all of us who are playing with our, uh, with our wrestlers for that tournament. That's a tremendous effort right there. Uh, right? <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. And then there's this different scoring you can get for each one of these guys. That is ridiculous. All right, well, thanks, Ryan. I'll go ahead and update the spreadsheet with who I got here. Uh, what are these? Unopened packs? Oh, is the box empty? No, the box ain't empty yet. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. I'm hurrying. <laughs> this is just some amazing stuff. This is. This is like an unopened pack. Oh, wow. Do we open it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the smart play. If it's still unopened. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This um, 
Looks like the mini die cut ones again. I don't know if I'd open that, Chuck. They're they're a little bigger. They're they're more of they're more of the they're more of the size from the little later third. You know, third. It could uh, anywhere from the I would say the the late thirties to the to the late fifties, mid fifties. Yeah, you're, you're going to do some research before you open that. Yeah, absolutely. But you could definitely see because I know. Yeah. Um, like some are coming these in these Taba packs. I showed this before when I picked it up. Like there's a there's a card in each one of these little folded newspaper sleeves, and then you'd go into the candy shop or whatever, and you pull one off, and that's what you got. And then others came in a box like this with these with these just you know stretched across, and you and you bought a pack basically. Mm. That is ridiculous. Yeah. And I got two of those. Oh Ryan, thank you so much. What else we got? Oh. Oh, I think I know what these are. I think these are from like the '60s. Uh, again, Manko is, is is really a game. So all of these all of these cards were used like in a game. You know, you you throw them down, to try to flip them over, or by the fighting number, whoever had a higher number and whatever digit. And I think these were again again. Oh. So, is that like, so is that like the first Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Absolutely. I mean, these, these I think are, look like they're from the 60s or something. These may be a bit older. And again, I'd have to do some research, find out who they are and what year they're from. But yeah, these are like the little foldable ones you can make so they, to make them stand up. Oh, yeah. And oh, he, he sent even the gameplay mat. Oh, very cool. Oh, that, oh there's a couple more of those. Oh, oh, and look at it, even a referee, the Gyoji. Oh, look at that. Oh, that this was way too kind, man. Way too kind. I gotta see what this looks like. So Yeah. So yeah, so you'd like lay this down. So you kind of lay this down, and that would be your, your sumo mat or sumo ring. And then you'd, you'd circle these guys, you know, make them like a little ring with a piece of tape or something. Or I don't know if it fold, looks like it might be slit. You fold it under. And then you'd put them on here and just tap on the table or on, or on a, wherever ground you put it on until your guys bump into each other and whoever falls off or steps out of the ring uh, loses. No, oh, there you go. This is freaking awesome. Ryan, thank you so much. Uh, I got some work to do for me now. Go through and see what I got. Um, but like I said, uh, th th these are this is these are ridiculous in my eyes. I I I, I this does more than kick off my collection. Thank you very much. But anyways, I, I rambled enough about sumo. Back to our regular scheduled program. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, we're back that quick, Chuck. It goes fast. Yeah. It does. <laughs> So uh, I'll tell you, thank, thanks to everyone for the trade. Uh, th you know, thanks to Ryan. You know, way too kind, sir. Yeah. But anyway, I got a bone to pick with Ed. Uh oh, what, what, what? So we set up this mail day, right? Uh huh. Like an hour ago. Uh, you know, he, he put everything out on the table. Was showing me these boxes. And I was like, oh man, that's awesome. And then he goes, uh oh, I don't think my phone's charged enough. Let me charge my phone, and I'll call you back. How many of these packages do you think he went through while his air quotes phone was charging <laughs> before I get to see what was in them? Chuck is ever suspect. Right? Like... <laughs> no, you're suspect. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> uh, suspicious. Suspicious minds. Look at that. The flower does not appreciate your suspicions. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, speaking of suspicious, the songs that that flower sings are a bit suspicious. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this entire conversation being fed directly <laughs> to the Congress of the people. <laughs> Live streamed. Live streamed. Let's see what we got here. So we got a little... Uh, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. What's going on? Let me... Oh, oh there we go. I was just screwing here it up. Here we go with the off-camera shenanigans. Uh, Yeah off camera so let's see we got a note here uh chuck and ed thank you for the oh for the advice when we started our channel ripping and rambling we were having a blast doing this and learning as we go watching your videos we noticed your collection of semi-fahoko rookies 
<laughs> we, we set this card to add to your rainbow of this rookie. Thank you for the entertainment and keep up the awesome work. Regards, Rippin' and Ramblin', a.k.a. Chuck and Jen. Yeah, I've talked to them a few times. They've asked me some questions. Uh, check out their channel, Rippin' and Ramblin'. Very cool. Uh, appreciate you. And let's see what got we got. Got a solid name, Chuck. That's, uh, that's always a good a one. Solid name, yeah. So there we go. Simi Fajoko from Mosaic. Ah, and there it is, the Orange Blast, Simi Fajoko. I do not have that one, or at least I didn't. Now I do. I really should start a Simi Rainbow. Uh, you should. That would be genius. Uh, and here we go. What do we got here? Look at Ed moving at a good clip because he don't want to sit here and record for an hour and a half. Hey, well, I don't know if I got enough battery. I charged for a little while, Chuck. But uh, so, oh, so this is from Ryan Lawton, Chuck. Uh, oh. My contribution to the channel, high and tight with a little off the bottom, Semper Supra, Ryan, Sumo Manko Man. So as you just saw from Chuck's video, that was that was Ryan uh, who's who who uh, just did all of that and has been a big supporter of our channel. Uh, he's also got an awesome channel. Check him out, Sumo Manko Man, if you're interested in the sumo stuff. Buzz Nutter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What did he say? High and tight, and what did he? What, I got now. I got to put it all together. All right, what did he say? <laughs> High and tight with a little off the bottom. Buzz nutter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He is going to join a fantastic <laughs> cast of Harry Colon, Mike Cox, Dick Shiner, and now Buzz Nutter. Oh, and we can't forget <laughs> Fair Hooker with the on-card auto. <laughs> That's fantastic. That collection is getting great. Uh, now this package here uh, was from, yeah, uh, let's see here. What is all that? No note? So this, uh, no, because uh, I'm trying to remember. Hold on to me. Buzz Nutter, Madison Monroe Buzz Nutter was an American football center for the Baltimore Colts and Pittsburgh Steelers. Played his college at uh, Virginia Tech. So Buzz Nutter was a hokey. <laughs> it sounds a little hokey. <laughs> it's out of Silverville, West Virginia. Oh yeah, yeah, so this package is from Cody. Sorry, I had to check that out real quick. I had the, had the box for a little bit now. Uh, and so I bought, he picked me up some mosaic blasters, which I ripped, as you see there. Uh, and I don't know if those were part of them. I had a bunch, so I don't know if those were the ones he sent me or not, but, um, but he picked me up some at retail price and, and charged me just retail plus shipping. So hooked me up. And then on top of that, uh, really took care of us, sent in a, a whole little, uh, little care package oh. here with it. Oh my. Team Hicks. Oh, there's Alan Robinson, formerly of the Chicago Bears <laughs> times two. Look at that one for each of us. Powerhouse Khalil Mack, formerly of the Chicago Bears. Alan Robinson, formerly of the Chicago Bears. Brian Erlacher, formerly of the Chicago Bears. <laughs> Daz Newsom, uh, we still got him for now. WR3, <laughs> currently. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Trubisky and Alan Robinson, formerly of the Chicago Bears. Jarrell Freeman, formerly of the Chicago Bears. Okay, so I think that's getting old. Cleo Mack, <laughs> Daz Newsom, Mark Bradley. I remember him. Rookie yeah. card. Uh, we had big high hopes for him. He did okay, I think. Richard Dent. Marcus Robinson, Greg Olson, Rex Grossman, Mike Singletary, Des White, Kevin oh, Butler, right. Steve McMichael. Oh, prayers up for Mongo. He's not doing too good. Yeah. John Roper, Jay Hilgenberg, Keith Van Horn, Mark Carrier, Sean Gale, another Sean Gale. These are 93. Uh, Matt Forte and a Rick Meyer. One of, the, one of the 144 quarterbacks the Chicago Bears have had since Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers have been quarterback. And missed it by one day, the Fighting Irish, the former Fighting Irish quarterback. Oh. And there's some mosaic. Uh, David Montgomery, Roquan Smith, A-Rob, Andy oh Dalton, Keem Hicks, Daz Newsome, base rookie. Oh, my. Walter Payton, man of the year. Uh, times, times two. Times two. And the base Walter Payton, I just put one of those in your box yesterday, Chuck. <laughs> Andy Dalton, pink. Uh, Khalil Herbert, green. Oh, that's very nice. That is. I was actually, Chuck and I were actually discussing trying to put together his rainbow because he's relatively affordable now. Daz Newsome, pink. Erlacher, green. 
and Erlacher Pink. Very nice, man. Appreciate oh, it. Right. And that wasn't the only one. Uh, that's just one Thanks, of, Cody. That's just one of the two envelopes. This is the other one he sent. Uh, no note. I don't think he was. But this is. Look at that fancy wrapper. Ooh. I don't know why it's uh, in such a fancy wrapper. Oh. This is from Cody, too? Yeah. So he sold you blasters at retail price just with shipping and included all of this? Yes, that's correct, sir. Holy cow. Again, the best community on the planet, right? <laughs> like, so. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. Oh, well, there's two, oh. two stacks here. Oh, cool. my. If this wasn't such a long mail day, I, I, I we would <laughs> have problems right about now. Oh, these got the shimmy shine ones, too. Uh it's really kind of a bummer now, you know, putting together all these cards that we've had in our PC. Chuck's cleared out his binder, uh, moved guys to the formerly Chicago Bears binder, right? And opened up pages yeah. for, for the new guys. Cause like- Well, everybody's got their off season work to do. Yeah, when they come in and clean house like they have, uh, all your best players. Uh, there you go, Justin Fields, Allen Robinson, Thunder and Lightning, times oh, two, times Chuck. two, look at that. Look at that. Start a second pile. Start a second pile. Chuck's box, Ed's box. Chase, or no, Cole Komet, times two. Oh, but one's a silver. Uh, we'll put him in Chuck's box. I think I got that silver one. And that's another silver select. Look at Chuck's box filling up quickly. Charles Tillman, man of the year, and a Walter Payton man of the year. Chuck, you're working on this rainbow too, because I've put a few of those uh, in your box. Oh, my. And then we got some more stuff that's going in your box here, Chuck. Uh and oh, in one of these videos, I'm going to have to break out my whole Justin Fields collection and show you guys uh, what yeah, I... Yeah, I think mine's up to about six pages in my binder. So what's that? Nine times six? Yeah, I don't... Uh, 45, 54, yeah. Yeah. Oh, a little pop there. What do we got here? A little tape. Be uh, careful with my cards there. So there's a... Yeah, Justin Fields Spectra. There's a playoff base. All rookie cards. All sweet stuff. Uh, absolute oh, wow. and the illusions. Oh, oh that my. Oh, that's the Panini Day, huh? Uh, oh, no, it's a sticker collection. There you go. Justin Fields sticker. I don't think I have that one, Chuck. I think that's gonna, it's going in my box. Uh, I think I do have one of these now. Do you have I one of these? I think you have a couple colors of that, actually. Yeah, do you have one of these, Chuck? I don't. Well, you do now. Mosaic base. Thanks, Cody! Mosaic base, Justin Fields, and a debut. Oh, Oh, I got a... Oh, Chuck. Rookie Wave. That looks like it's got some color to it. Uh, it does not have a number, but that is a deep blue. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. So there is the base, and then there is my auto of Justin Fields out of 15. Oh, well, since you already got one of those. Well, I thought they would look really nice together with the two colors. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so I'll just put it over there in my stack. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Oh, Rusty Cunts. Oh, there he is. That's the one. Oh, and look at that. NFL debut. Oh. Justin Fields with the orange kablam. I made oh, up, well, I made up that word. The, since, you got, since you got the rookie wave, I guess that means I get that one. Oh, yeah. I guess it does, Chuck. But I, uh, oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm going to have to fucking pull. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull. I'm going to have to pull one of those now. So... Just remember, is that Rusty Cunts autograph? That is that is Rusty Cunts, but I think it's one of those auto pen things. I don't think it's an actual autograph on card. Uh -oh. I don't think, but uh, he is now going with the, the rest of the team. There we go, uh, Rusty he Cunts. Two additions in two packages to Rusty Cunts, Dick Shiner, and all the gang. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, big shout out, Cody. Thanks. I appreciate you hooking me up for retail and uh, the added bonus, man. Because I got to tell you, I have a hard time trying to beat the bots online or finding any retail in my area while I'm working and stuff too, right? So uh, what do we got here? Okay. Hey, Chuck and Ed, figured you guys might need a card to complete your set and, and prop a guy up next to Dick Shiner. Thanks for all the good content. Hope you enjoy Michael Mickey's cards on Instagram. Yes, like the Mickey Mouse Mickey's cards. There you go. <laughs> uh, it's very cool. Uh, so there must be something good in here to go. The the the, the PC of of odd named 
uh, players. Is... I don't even know what you would call that, Ed. It's just Eddie's lineup as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Eddie's lineup. Let's just call it that. I like it. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Uh, am I missing some tape? I am. Oh, there's tape. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be surgical. All right, that should help. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me. I'm working on it. I gotta get all this scotch tape off of here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, it was only Andy Dalton getting abused. So, <laughs> uh, Mitch Trubisky, Mitch Trubisky, and a Mike Glennon from 2017. Prestige. Did you see the Saints just signed that dude? Who? The giraffe. Did they? Mike Glennon, he's still in the league? Yes. Oh, and there it is. Rusty Cunts. Fran Mullins and Leo Sutherland. Ru That's a Rusty Cunts rookie card. It's a Rusty Cunts rookie card. What do you know about that? <laughs> Look at them socks. Look at them old socks, ball caps, and butterfly <laughs> collar uniforms. Blue collar. Uh, so there we go. All right, so moving on. So now we got this package. I don't think this... Oh, yeah, it does. But I was I was taken aback a bit by the frozen seafood ice, so... Uh, or I think it says Seattle, Washington, but it's got a picture of Alaska and a Viking ship. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's where they get the frozen seafood, right? Like <laughs> you, you, you port out of Seattle and uh, and head on up to. Oh, the what Alaska. is all that? I think there was a note in there too, wasn't there? There is. Uh, this one says "Open second with a smiley face, and this one says "Open first split between you and truck. All cards, please. Thanks. Roger oh. that. I'll decide who gets what." <laughs> All right. Uh, Silver Sport. Figured you Bears fans could use these more than I could. I'm a big fan of the channel. Keep the content coming. Watching from Small Island in Alaska. Oh, S there you go. He says, split up fairly, LOL. That's right. <laughs> Is that, he, Trevor knows. Trevor knows. Uh, and he says, go Steelers. Uh, and I get he makes comments every while, every once in a while, too. So we we, we Chat with him every once in a while. Oh, yeah, that's right. Watching from a small island in Alaska. Yeah, yeah. He's been around for, for a hot minute, too. Uh, several months. I mean, at least six or eight months he's been around on uh, hanging out yeah. with us. So here we go. Oh, so these are cards fresh from the uh, small island in Alaska? And yeah, packed in seafood wrap. Right? Like, what else would you do? Gotta oh. have a Packer quarterback in every damn box chucking out the facts. Uh, yes. Uh, so, let's get these open. So, I'm assuming we're starting with a Packer quarterback. And, yes, we are. I already seen the cheese head poking out. Uh, there we go. It's down here. Hey, Aaron. There it is for the optic. Allen Robinson. Charles Tillman. Oh, there's a peanut. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, Eddie Goldman, rookie. Formerly a Chicago oh, Bear, unfortunately. Formerly a Chicago Bear. Oh, Roquan. I'll take Roquan. Roquan rookie. Uh, yeah. Uh, David Montgomery score draft. Anthony Miller celebration. David Montgomery. Didn't Anthony Miller celebrate by punching people? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what his thing? David Montgomery. Khalil Mack. Oh, cracked ice Jimmy Mack. Oh, that's a nice that's one. Kind of nice. It's got some shimmy shine. David Montgomery. Khalil Mack. Clear shots Erlacher. Yeah, oh A Rob, Silver A Rob, Brian Erlacher, debut Comet, Erlacher Hall of Fame, Roquan. The there's that orange blast again. Oh, that's gonna look nice next to my Justin Fields orange blast. David Montgomery, David Montgomery. Oh, Gale, this. Oh, what, what? On what? On what? Which one? The Gale Sayers. Oh, Gale Sayers fire. That is a nice one. So there we go. We'll dibble them up evenly, evenly. So Chuck gets this stack, and I get whatever's in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, that, but that, isn't that what the note said? <laughs> we won't put everyone through the painful mess of us <laughs> arguing over cards quite yet. No, uh, I don't. Yeah, we we have to. Yeah, because it, it it could get real. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Seriously, just playing though. Uh, again, appreciate you, Trevor, sending us in. Uh, again, absolutely. So so stoked to have all these great folks in our community, right? Uh, let's see here. Ed needed a little pick me up after. Uh... After what, Chuck? 
spend another video. Oh, after I figured out what I what I spent in 2021 on, on football cards. Yeah, so this video will come out on Saturday. So look forward to that on Sunday. Uh, no. <laughs> woof. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Darnell Mooney, Prism Base. Black. Oh, that's black. Yeah, yeah. That's, those are nice. Uh, Cole Komet, Crown Royal Rookie. That's got to be out of Chronicles. Oh I'm assuming that. Yeah, that's out of Chronicles. Uh, Cole Komet, the clearly rated rookie. I think I have one of those as well, Chuck. Dibs! No, I did go with a three-color patch out of 50. Canton Cloth. All right, Chuck, but I get the next one. Uh, oh. In, in, oh, maybe not. Enclosed, player-worn, used material, guaranteed by on the video graphic evidence. Deal's a deal. Oh, jeez, Chuck. Ditka. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that. Three-color patch out of plates and patches. Oh, that's oh that is friggin' awesome. 2021, and that is a hobby-only product right there. Uh, and you know the, I, how many breaks I got in trying? I remember I, I, that's the card I pointed out. Yeah. Oh, look at speaking of Mongo. Yeah, and the following card was Steve McMichaels, which automatically goes to me uh, based on Chuck's previous claim. <laughs> but I'll give him a Justin Fields Legacy Rookie because I think I got one of those. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, Trevor, that was awesome. That really was, man. Autos and Mims, that is too kind. Uh, truly appreciate that it. That cloth might dick us, man. That might have to go into the uh, the display case next to my Ditka Auto. Yeah, yeah. So, so it might look like it's over, guys, but I got three giant boxes next to me that I couldn't even fit on the table. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, so are we gonna are we gonna wait one while you clear uh, clear the decks there? Uh, yeah, I guess we can. I can. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. This is Chuck's box, Eddie's box, Eddie's box. Everything's Eddie's box over here, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So we'll make some room for sure. Real quick, and I'll probably just cut this out, and then okay. So here we go. Uh, so this one, I had to bring the whole box up. Uh, let me see which way. So let me prop the camera up a little bit so that you guys can see. Because uh, Jason, who sent this, wrote on the inside of the flaps. Fortunately, I opened it correctly uh, and, and chose the right side to cut open because you never know. Uh, he's got a little note here. All cards are doubles or triples or more. Enjoy. And then... <laughs> And then I'll push the button, uh, and then you got you roll it this way, and it says, "No, still waiting on an auto, Chuck." I'm not sure what that one means, but I'll buy the next pack for twenty dollars. Sounds like Chuck. Uh, <laughs> so, so there's this Who's big this there's this big brick. I got the note coming here, but it's Jason Brennan, who's a gold vinyl member uh, of the channel. Oh wow! Uh, this one says, "Open last." Oh. Oh my. Uh, and then this one is a little extra something to say thanks for getting me back into the hobby. Hold on, let me get this, get the box out of the way. I just wanted to show you the flaps on the box because I thought it was cool, right? So uh, when people put some some time and effort into into the hobby, right? So and into sending us stuff. So P.S. I don't know what that is. Some of these cards may be errors or a variant. Uh, that a unit AFC logo on the back is not aligned. Oh. 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 Well, maybe we should save that one. Let's open this brick. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big monster set of cards right here. Look at this. Holy cow. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, and it's sealed in there tight with the, look at that, the fancy, uh, the fancy Braves holograph sticker there. What were you saying you knew what that was, Chuck, I think? Yeah, okay. Yeah, those were, uh, I forget which, uh, uh, some baseball packs oh, years yeah. and years and years ago. So it looks like it'll get open this way. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Don't nick a rusty cunt. <laughs> yeah, because you never know what's going to come out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid show, kid kid show, kid show. Chuck, kid show. You're the one who started it, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, oh, another note. Uh, here are some more cards to enjoy or fling into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> the pack on the left, our white, our white side up, holds some hard to find cards. Oh. To them being unlicensed, due to them being unlicensed. 
I have only oh, seen okay. a few online. Uh, decided to do some investing. Please let me know what you find. I have a set of my own. Jason Brennan. Oh, if you decide to do some investigating. Oh, so I wonder oh. what it is. Let's oh, see. Chuck likes to investigate. <laughs> I do like to investigate. Chuck is a, a bit of a sleuth when it comes to, to researching cards. I'm just saying, if you guys aren't tracking that. Oh, it's got them all numbered. Look at that. Outstanding. Make it easy on me. Uh, let's see here. So do I get odds and you get evens? Uh, odds and evens? Uh, no, Chuck. There's only three packages. I, I had to, you, you almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got oh, me. Oh, I see some old Top Bears cards. I got my notebook. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here we go. Uh, so there is a top loader protecting Riverboat Ron Rivera. Let me move this camera back down because I, um, I adjusted it earlier and forgot to push oh it back down. Oh my, this might do some uh, heavy filling in for me here. I got a feeling. Uh, so there you go. So there's a Ron Rivera. Uh, and it looks like... 80, What's the last eight, year of stats? 89 tops. 89 tops. Ron Rivera, number 61. I need it. Oh, uh, number 61 it is. All right, we'll put it in Chuck's pile. Uh, there we go. Hey, hey Ron, because there's got to be... <laughs> Everybody knows the... Knows the game, right? You can't send us a package without an AA Ron in it. <laughs> Trey Burton, and I love that everybody knows it. That's the coolest part, right? Like, and I love that these are all making you flip the stack. <laughs> and I didn't even catch it until you said something. I was just <laughs> going along with it. You, you tricked me. <laughs> Ron Rivera. Roke. Oh, look, and then I stopped flipping it. Look, at he puts two or three in a row. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Jay Hilgenberg from 90, Brad Muster, Steve McMichael, Keith Van Horn. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Boz. The Boz. Uh, also, looks like the same, 89 tops, yeah. Uh, Doug Flutie Flakes, Jimmy Mack. Oh, look at that. It's like one of the oh, little... See, I'm going to have to go to the Chicago West Fest tomorrow in Mesa. I hear uh, Jim McMahon's going to be there. Oh, yeah. This Jimmy Mack, it's like one of those little gold cards, right? It's a 90. 1990. Uh, yeah, High Pro, 1990 High Pro, Jimmy Mack, Jimbo Covert, Ron Moore's got the whole 90 Fleer set, Kevin Butler, yeah. Neil Anderson, Vesty Jackson, times two, James Thornton, Richard Dent, times two, Janice like Jenkins, it. Mike Tomzak, Jim Harbaugh, look at that, back when there was a lot of Bears in sets because, well, they were a good team, <laughs> Roquan, Hakeem Hicks, Allen Robinson, Dave Dewerson out of oh, tops. Oh, Dave Dewerson. What number is that, Dewerson? Oh, that's going to be Chuck's. Uh, that is also out of 89, and that is number 73. 70, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Chuck's filling them up. Oh, that's uh, outstanding. I'm going to mark, mark these off because I'm going to another card show this week. Oh, and if anybody's going to the Arizona State Card Fair uh, next weekend, let me know. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to head out there Saturday. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hit that up in the comments. Chuck will be watching. Uh, there we go. And Dave Dorsey for and, the 89 and, top. I like if, it. And if anybody's going, that means Chuck's going to have to wear a silver sport shirt and bring his chicken. <laughs> so he can be identified. <laughs> hey, there's from... another pack there. Yeah, you did this last mail day. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Chuck. All right. You oh. dirty, see that slick hand? Dirty. Dirty. He's trying to be, <laughs> look, look, he's got, he's got some goodies in it. I would just like you to know, Chuck, that I have access to your box at all times. I'm just kidding, Eddie. <laughs> Before you get too sassy with me, there's another 89 Neil Anderson tops. Thousand, Thousand yard yards card. club. Yep, I need that one. Number 14, boy, oh boy. Oh, there's another Riverboat Ron, same card. Oh, oh, that's for you. Dave Tate. Yep, 67. Yeah. Oh, and there's two oh. of them. There you go. Dave Tate, Mike Tomzak. 63. Mike Tomzak, what number? 63. Yeah. Oh, look at there. You're, boy, I tell you what, you're doing good here. 70, Dennis McKinnon. Yes. Jimmy Mack. 62, uh, I got that one. Oh, 62. Oh, look at that. There you go. More Green Bay quarterbacks. Record numbers. <laughs> Brett Favre. Uh, and then more tops. Jay Hilgenberg. Times two. Oh, one each. We could, yeah, seven, one each. Neil Anderson, what card number Neil Anderson? Dan Hampton. Uh, Neil Anderson is 64. 64. Yep. Dan Hampton, 66. Yep. 
Uh, Dave Dewerson again, times two, and Steve McMichael, 69. Yes, please. That's what you want your card number to be, right? Uh, oh, unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the 89 top set. Oh, yeah. Chuck's binder is uh, filling up quickly. Oh. Okay, so can I move on to pack Andy. number two now, Chuck? Am I, am I authorized? Huh? Can I move on to pack number two now? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's still, there's a pack number three. There's the other one with the note. There's the open last. Well, I wanted to, oh, my goodness. Yeah, right? I wanted to get your permission first because last time you yelled at me. Right? So. <laughs> and who's, who is this from again? I'm sorry. Uh, Jason Brennan. Jason Brennan. Where's Jason from? Uh, well, I don't know. Chuck, you tell us. <laughs> you usually just make that up as you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I ripped off all the labels, so. Uh, oh, Jason Brennan is currently the Robert J. and Elizabeth Flanagan Family Professor of Strategy, Economics, Ethics, and Public Policy at McDonough School of Business at Georgetown University. Oh, sounds like a pretty He's an smart American guy. philosopher. There you go. See? That's the type of high-rolling people we got watching our channel, Chuck. Smart, <laughs> smart folks watch this, right? Because, we, we, you know, there's, there's so much knowledge being kicked. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Thurman Thomas. Uh, super rookie Thurman Thomas. Super rookie Michael Irvin, Icky Woods super rookie, times, times two. two. one for Chuck's box. Do the Icky shuffle. Uh, and Eric oh, Dickerson, Dickerson, top all pro. All pro. Oh, that's from the 89, it looks like two, yeah. Yeah. Same set. Very cool, man. Make sure one of the Mickeys gets into my pile. Yeah, I got you. There's so much stuff. I got so many piles going on here. I got to, we're going to have to sort through it after, Chuck. There'll be there'll be some mayhem that happens after the video is over, because <laughs> because I just uh, it's we're we're like it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Wait, it's already a long one. But how cool is that, right? Like uh, oh, the star! I have I have some of those. Oh, look there. So Chuck knew exactly what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. The unlicensed. Yes, I I, I have um, I have a lot of baseball of those actually. I mean, when I say a lot, I mean, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, let me see here. Brendan writes about democratic theory, the ethics of voting, competence and power, freedom, and the moral foundations of commercial society. Huh. Oh. I grew up in Tewksbury, Massachusetts, and Hudson, New Hampshire. Case Western Reserve University and University of New Hampshire as an undergraduate. <laughs> PhD in philosophy at the University at the University of Arizona down here in Tucson. I don't know if he wanted you to put all his business out on the street like that, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come back and be like, "How dare you look me up?" <laughs> uh, oh. Here we go. He argues that most citizens have a moral obligation not to vote. Oh, huh. a moral obligation not to vote. Uh, okay, Bo Jackson. Uh, Bo Jackson again, Chicago. Why does it say Chicago on it? I don't know. I don't know about those. Collegiate. Uh, oh, but he, he was. He did sign with the White Sox for a little while. Uh, uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, RBI, he, 70 RBI. There you go, Chicago White Sox. And yes. another one. How cool is that? That's very cool, man. Uh, and there's, there's two different ones. I don't know, Chuck. Uh, look at all that. Those are cool looking cards, actually, right? Uh, yeah. Bo continues to excel. 87, 89. So these must be 1990, I'm guessing. Yeah. It says right there, 90 in the bottom. Yeah. Those are actually from the same star uh, set, I believe. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, and then let's see what we got here. A bunch of Bo Jackson. So, Chuck, you got your job is to research these, I think, and, and uh, give yeah. Jason back some information about how many millions they're worth. <laughs> Bo Jackson, another times two. Oh, that's uh, yeah, Kansas City Royals this time. So yeah, this is when you're still on the Royals. Wow. And then another Raiders one, Bo Jackson. Man, that's cool. It's like the whole set. Those huh? really are. Yeah. Uh, Those really are cool. Yeah. Good looking cards. Very cool, man. Uh, okay, so now this one's open last. I still got two more packages from him. Holy cow, man. Uh, appreciate you taking just the sheer amount of time it takes just to put something like this together. Uh, right? So for a couple of yahoos like us. For a couple of jokers. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what's that one guy I always call, uh, call us in the uh, comment section? Uh, 
these two what what these two yahoos blow their wad on uh, uh, jerk wads jerk faces jerk, 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 jerk offs i don't, I don't know. know uh fleer 90 pierce holt troy aikman Who's pierce holt i don't know how do you spell pierce p-i-e-r-c-e -E, holt for Who's the 49ers troy aikman ronnie lot times two for the 49ers oh, another yeah. troy aikman yeah same one uh, Bob Gagliano, <laughs> uh, Kevin Butler, punter, times two, and a Ronnie Lott out of Fleer 90. Oh. Pierce Holt is in the College Football Hall of Fame. Oh. Open yeah. last, Chuck. Now we get to all the stuff that's for Eddie. From Angelo State University. Oh, oh Angelo State University. Second round pick by the Niners in the 88 draft. Oh, look at this. We got some we got some one touches here, Chuck. Uh-oh. Oh, breaking the, the bow breaker card. Yes, sir. Bow breaker in the one touch out of score. Oh, that's outstanding. Card number 773. I think I have that card from, in the, 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 or not that card, but from that score set, the black and white one with him on the bat on his head, I think. Oh. Yeah, I think that's probably still in a one touch somewhere in my house too. Look at that, Bo Jackson with the little car, like the cartoony uh, type face on it from '91 Fleer, six of ten. Bo knows football. Uh, that's the Bo knows set, I guess, huh? Very Bo cool. Uh, and let's see, what we got here Super Bowl MVPs, uh, Montana and Rice. Oh, I've got quite the pile of trash uh, piling up next to me, too. Super Bowl MVPs. What is this? To help Chuck's Marcus Allen trauma. Oh! <laughs> That's a Game Breakers Thurman Thomas with the shimmy shine. So there we go. Uh, hey, you put that in the wrong stack. Oh, yeah. Obviously, that was intended for me. Oh, but, Justin Fields, great rookie. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Uh, I think. I hope I have one of those. Jeff George. Oh, Jeff George. Number one draft choice. And a Justin Fields score. Looks like the red parallel. Uh, out of score. Very cool, oh, man. Goodness. Appreciate you, Jason. Good looking out. Yeah, that was, again, way too kind. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I missed something. What is this? Oh, okay. oh the, 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 the AFC is not aligned. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was talking about. They're calling it a variant, but I think it's an error. If Montana is in here, his TDs and total yards are switched. Oh. oh. Okay. Gotta oh. Go back and look well, now for I got to go back and look for it. Uh, I don't think I remember seeing Montana. Do you? I don't think we did. No, just that one Montana Jerry Rice combo card. And what was the AFC he was talking about? Where was that at? I don't know which cards, right? Uh, oh, there's the NFC. Montana. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. Oh. Oh, there's two of them in there. <laughs> it's like the same on both sides. Uh, so let's see if it's the one. If I can get him out of here. No, I'm gonna try the old fashioned way. Uh oh yeah, no, it's not that type of thing. It's uh there's yeah, nothing yeah, on no. there back there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, well we oh, we'll dig through them. Yeah. Uh let me put that over here, not try to put him in a top loader quite yet. Uh there's that. Bo, all right. So very cool. Appreciate you, Jason. Uh, what do we got next? Oh my. Okay. Do we got to clear the decks again? Uh, let me just scoot them along and see what we can fit. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Enjoy these packs and patches. Love y'all's oh. channel. By far the best on YouTube. V VR. That's a uh, standard military uh, jargon. Jeff the Spoon Kakali or Kakali. Uh, P.S. Sayosi, so that's the patches. Spin on it and send it. Oh, that's perfect for this channel. <laughs> the motto of Reaper Pilots nationwide. Uh, oh. Yeah, appreciate you, Jeff. Uh, let's check out what's in the box. Oh, my, yes. So, so here it is, Chuck. One for each of us. Spit on it and send it. 
Soyosi or Soyasi. Uh, and then 54th Operational Support Squadron to the patches. And a lot of people in the military collect these, these patches, right? So it's pretty cool. Uh, and it looks like there's an extra one back here. So this one's times two, I think. Or it's just double thick. That's the Velcro extra piece. Don't okay. rip it. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the Velcro backing. Uh, very cool. Uh, appreciate you, man. Absolutely. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's Spit that's on it and cool. send it. I like that. That's a good motto. <laughs> uh, and then let's see. We got a little uh, package to go along with it as well. Oh. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Get out of town. We're ripping some mosaic, Chuck. Oh, how cool oh, we're is that? Mine. Huh? Roll the dice. Oh, we're which? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, Chuck, here you go. Uh, which one? Well, so is the dice yours? If it's odd, it's uh. So in standard, if it's odd, I get the one on the left. And if it's if even, it's odd, I get the one on the left. If not, I get the other one. Well, actually, Chuck, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, odd is to the right in the navy. Uh, even is to the left, right? Port and starboard. Okay. Port and starboard. So uh, let's see. So so whatever it lands. So the dice is yours. So whatever it lands on, you get port or That'll starboard. Work. Port or starboard. And there it is. It's three. So you get the one on the right. Starboard. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's well let's open Chuck's first and see what, what nothing he gets, and then we'll look at my Genesis. Yes, is jacked up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whatever he gets, whatever he gets, I'm calling dibs on. That's fair, right, Chuck? <laughs> no, we already. Been, there's no dibs. It's been uh, the oh, dice were rolled. Oh, oh. Well, I don't know, Chuck. Oh, Sometimes. Well, Bill Von Miller. Uh, yeah. Daily Muir. Oh, didn't you get an autograph of that guy? Uh, I don't think it was an autograph. I got some nice cards of his though. Uh, Blitnikoff, Joe Montana, J.J. Watt, and a Cam Newton, Chuck. And a Mike Strachan, Cam Newton Silver Mosaic, and a Mike Strachan Green Rookie, Dangerous Bobblehead, oh, and a Mahomes Big Head Green, that's probably a pretty good oh, one. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, and a Daz, oh, Daz Newsom, Newsom, Base Rookie, and an Oduffe Owe. What are the odds that you'd get a Daz in there, Chuck? And a nice little Mahomes Bobblehead, that's cool. Uh, so here's the pinks. What are you going to get in here, I, I wonder? Uh, Jeremy Chin, first year. Oh, Hunter Henry. I thought that was going to be Herbie there for a minute. Uh, Did we get a rookie? Oh, we did not. Christian uh, McCaffrey, NFC. So that means this one's loaded. <laughs> it's all over, yeah, Chuck. Yeah, one on the left. It's like, it's, like you, it's, it's like you said, Chuck. Uh, there's no more dibs. It's all over. We rolled the uh, dice. I know. There's yeah, video draft yeah, I evidence. I really wanted to go with the odds of where I get the one on the left, and you're like, that's not the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I did do that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Justin Herbert, AFC. Uh, Drew Locke. Where is he off to now? Seattle? Uh, yes, sir. And then we got a, oh, and then we got a bang. Jalen Hurts and a Deshaun Watson bobblehead mosaic. And I would venture to say your pack was better, Chuck. Jacob Harris and Seth Williams. So far, yeah, so far. Let's see what's in the bonus pack. Oh, yeah, big shout out to you, man. I appreciate you sending the stuff in. That's awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, what was I it? forgot. 54th? What? 54th. What oh, where the heck did it go? Oh, 54th Operation Support Squadron. There you go. TJ Hawkinson, Alvin Kamara. Oh, and we got a rookie. A Mac oh, Jones, oh, get out of here! Oh, 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 everything coming up, Eddie. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's the way we <laughs> hold on, hold on, Chuck. While you're thinking that, let me put him in a top loader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool, man. Oh, how awesome is that? Let me put him back there with TV12 and Jaws. Uh, there we go. Oh, awesome, man. I appreciate you sending those packs. Uh, that was actually the, I didn't know that was in there. I know he had. I think he mentioned it to me. Uh, but it had been a while since since the email, and I didn't remember that they were packed. But that was a nice little interlude before I get to this next box. <coughs> oh, my. Uh, oh, my what? Oh, my. Steelers number two, it says on the box. I'm sure it's uh, reused. Um, here we go. Okay. 
Dear Ed and Chuck, or Chuck and Ed. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's here, that one. Here's, here's, yeah, it does roll off the tongue a little better that way. Uh, here's a few random cars we had laying around. Cars for me and my buddy Brent. Super cheap, Super Bowl rip party. Uh, so we saw, decided to put everything in the bears that came up in your box. Oh, oh, <laughs> put it in our box. I love it. Uh, we have been fans of the channel for a few months now. Just can't get enough of your hilarious card shenanigans. Plus, you rip everything from cheap to expensive boxes, which we like to see. Enjoy the, these for the PC or throw them in the fireplace, whichever comes first. I give Chuck permission to call dibs on anything he wants as long as he's fast enough. <laughs> I like it when they speak to it, Chuck. Uh, I, I really, I, I guess it's very humbling that people know us that well, right? Who haven't even met us, right? Uh, hope you enjoy the One Touch stickers we sent. Have a good one, brothers. Uh, sincerely, Gold Member Tommy. Look at there, another gold member gold coming member through. Tommy. Appreciate the support. Outstanding. Uh, Tommy, where's Tommy hail from? What's uh, the return uh, address? Uh, uh, let me see. I think this box, I might have kept it on here. So, uh, uh, Tommy's coming out of Steubenville, Ohio. Good luck spelling that one, Chuck. I can remember typing that Steubenville, address for gold packs. Steubenville, Ohio. Now. Why do I know that name? Oh. Steubenville, Ohio. And so this is what he was talking about. Chuck, look at that. Oh. Uh, so remember I'd mentioned that I wanted to try and get some of these for for the channel. Yeah. Your custom one-touch stickers have arrived. Instagram, at one-touch stickers. So now we know where to get them. And they sent <laughs> us some. How cool is that? Uh, that is genius. Uh, I got to try one right now, Chuck. <laughs> I gotta try it right now. Uh, and I think, let me see here. What one touch do you have to, to, to put that on? Oh, just wait for it, Chuck. I got my eye on one. Oh, Why do yeah. I know Steubenville, Ohio? We've done a Steubenville, Ohio before. Somebody else is from Steubenville. Oh, that's not really a one touch, but. Oh, it is a one touch. It yeah, is a it one is. touch. Oh, look, at, look that. at that. Does that look sharp or what, Chuck? Oh, that does. That looks outstanding. So, oh, look at it. It's on both sides, too. How awesome is that? Uh, oh, I appreciate you, man. That's awesome. Oh, uh, Tommy, that is outstanding. That is super cool. Uh, let me put him up here in front of Jamar Chase just so we can keep him in the picture. Uh, very cool. And there's like a bunch of them. It's got to be like a hundred of them in there. Oh, well, put them in my box. Put them in my one. <laughs> All right, Chuck, I'll do that. Uh, right oh, after this. My. Yeah, because especially in a display case where I got all my Bears Hall of Famer autographs and, you know, my favorites, some of them are just in the clear one touches with that silly little gold magnet on the front. Yeah. Oh, they look awesome with Silver Sport stickers across them all. Right. And even if this channel goes bankrupt, which is a high probability, uh... tune in tomorrow <laughs> for that fact. <laughs> we will always have our Silver Sport stickers on our one touches because those are never going anywhere. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, that is too cool, man. Uh, that was like a highlight for me. I got all excited. Uh, and I got to get this. Let's see if I can get this to separate here. Steubenville, Ohio. Why do I know Steubenville, Ohio? Uh, I don't know, Chuck. What are you doing down in Steubenville? I don't know. I may have a second family there. I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So this is the one. Uh, okay. So there's an illusionist. Justin Fields, rookies. I have an illusionist, Chuck, so you'll get this. Matter of fact, I think I have all of these base rookies, but this one is what he was sending oh. me. Uh, and that was the one I was telling you about that, that he said he was going to hook me up with, right? Uh, so dibs. <laughs> In case I didn't <laughs> <laughs> In case I didn't get to that quick enough, but it's got the, the, the swirls and the air. I just think those are cool looking cards, right? The airborns. Uh, and then uh, Justin Fields, Justin Fields, and a uh, oh, Justin Fields Fant Phenoms from Don Russ 2021 Authentic Memorabilia. Not from any specific game or event, but a little patch there of, and Chuck I, got to put it in his box. Uh, oh, look at this. Holy cow. It's like a whole, that was one of those leaf boxes. I got some of these. <laughs> uh, now let's see if I can get it open. That's going to be the next question. Oh, how many cards fit in there? Because I could use one of those for a secondary sumo set. Uh, this one looks like about, I don't know, maybe uh, 40 to 50. Oh, yeah. It depends on it depends on the thickness of the cards, too, I think, right? So Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got it. 
got it and took out all the good cards before Chuck saw it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay. Roquan, bunch of score. Khalil Mack. So they did a Super Bowl rip party? Yeah. I, that's, that sounds like fun. Yeah. I wonder what that's That all sounds about. like worth a trip to Steubenville, Ohio. Yeah, it does for the Super Bowl. Uh, but next year we have to go to it in Phoenix because it's right there next to you, right, Chuck? Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. Trubisky, Hopefully, but if, if, if Ed's pocketbook hangs on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and if gas prices are expensive as they are, I won't be able to afford to come out there, Chuck. Five-hour drive cost me $600. You can gas. take an Amtrak. It's 500 miles. You get here in about six days. <laughs> six days, yeah. Stuck in the oh, desert. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There it is. Uh, these are... Uh, 1990 tops. Trace Armstrong, I have that. Jim Roper, John Roper. Jim Roper, I don't have that. Dan, John Roper, Dan Hampton, Jimbo Dan Hampton. Cover. Hold on, I need the Hampton. Jay Hogenberg, James Thornton. Oh, geez, uh, you're going too fast. Well, my phone is running out of running out of juice, Chuck. So I got to move along. Well, I got a dibs on all of them. Man. Yeah, you got it. Mike Singletary, Trace <laughs> Armstrong. We'll sort through them afterwards. Dennis Gentry, Ron Morris, Jim Harbaugh. You know I'm not going to take anything from the set you're trying to put together. Jay Hogenberg, <laughs> another John Roper, Steve McMichael, Dan Hampton, Richard Dent. Jesus, that's about all of 1990 Jim, right there. Jimbo Covert and a Justin Dibs. Fields. Oh, geez, Chuck. <laughs> so, I, so I was just being all nice and say, and say, hey, I'm going to give you all of this stuff, uh, you know, uh, and, and, then he, and then he goes and dibs me. <laughs> <laughs> just say right. Did you pull the white? But that's fine. Justin Fields. Uh, there you go. Oh. Go ahead, Chuck. You didn't call it. I didn't hear it. I'm waiting. It's blurry. I'm trying to see who it that's is. That's a Jordan Howard rookie bookend. Patch, 199 of 199, and since Chuck didn't call it in time, it is automatically mine. Uh, <laughs> enclosed player-worn material guaranteed by Panini. I love how he keeps it just out of my view in the lower right-hand corner. I just see a brown top of a card. Well, it's not my fault, Chuck, that you didn't properly adjust the camera before we started. Because oh, my, I, my, I may have something that'll reach you from Phoenix, but it ain't my <laughs> It's not your intellect either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh geez. geez, you know it's been a long video. Here we go. <laughs> we're on, uh, so with your added in stuff, Chuck, we're over an hour already. Uh, Khalil <laughs> Mack, A Rob. Uh, there we go. Uh, what do we get here? Oh, oh, Khalil Mack, Mike Singletary, Erlacher. That's a nice linebacker uh, card there on the score. That's at 3D. You have one of those too, so. Oh, yeah. Khalil Mack. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey with the pennant there, in with another card of his, uh, but that's the pennant out of contenders. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not in with another card, it's just in front of the other one. Johnny Bailey, Khalil Mack, Daz Newsom, Khalil Mack, A Rob, A Rob, Daz Newsom. Oh my goodness. So yeah, much Bears goodness. Your binder is getting filled up, Chuck. Uh, <laughs> and let's see what else I got here. One more pack. One more pack. Oh, how's the battery? Uh, it's dying, but we're going to make it. We're going to push through, <laughs> and it's going to happen. Oh, I forgot there's all four sides. Oh, boy. Tommy and the boys at the Super Bowl rip party in Steubenville, Ohio. That must have been a heck of a bash. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let me... Here I got boy I got a huge mess next to me. Uh, <laughs> Mitch Trubisky, Anthony Thomas, Jim Harbaugh, Sean Gale, James Thornton, Mike Singletary, Dan Hampton, Trace Armstrong, Jay Hilgenberg. Oh, we got some tape on the side of these ones. Well, there's a rated rookie Daz on the back and an A. A. Ron that goes in Chuck's. <laughs> that goes in Chuck's heat stack. A. A. I got enough A. A. Ron to last a lifetime. Jalen Hilgenberg, Trace Armstrong, uh, William Perry, Jay Hilgenberg, Sean Gale, Mike Singletary, Neil Anderson, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. Also goes in Chuck Stack. Uh, that might be a – that looks like – look at how young he looked back there. Back when A.A. Ron didn't look like a, a, a homeless person. It's, Not it is, there's anything wrong with it that. It is 2021. It's just an old uh, – it's just an old, old picture. Oh, who's that? Drew Brees. Oh, yeah. Drew Brees. <laughs> With the COVID collection. Uh, 
Hey, hey, Ron again. Every other card. I'll sound Jeffrey. Roquan. Khalil Mack. Times two out of elite. A Ron. Allen Robinson. A Rob. Yeah, A Rob. A Rob. Jordan Howard. Uh, touchdown Club out of Rookies and Stars. That's, uh, oh, that's kind of slick looking. Yeah, for Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard was a good back for us. You know, uh, I don't know if we let him go in time or he was just really good in our system. Uh, yeah. Andy Dalton, Darnell Mooney, and a Khalil Mack. Uh, Holy cow. Wow. So we are over an hour, folks. Uh, big shout out to everybody who hung around this, this long. Appreciate you guys sending stuff in. Again, uh, just privileged to be part of this community and uh, appreciate all of you. Absolutely. Ed, Ed said it all. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. We will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.